Once you've decided that you have everything set up the way the school requires, you can save that as a template. So if I click over here on the File tab, I can come down here to Save As, and when I click on that, it gives me several different options. But for now, we're just going to click on Desktop. And when I go to change the Save Type As right here, we're going to change that over to a Word template. And then for now, we're just going to go ahead and call this APA Format. You can call it whatever you want, but we're going to call it APA Format. And you'll notice when I changed it over to a Word template, it took me automatically where it wants to save those templates, which is what we want it to do. So we go ahead and save that. And then now when we go back into the File tab, if I go down to New and click on that, and click on Personal, then you'll see that I have my APA format that I can use over and over again. And the formatting is set up the same way every single time, so I don't have to worry about the little details that the school and the teachers are going to require from me.